A spreadsheet is simply a group of columns and a series of rows. If you need an example of a spreadsheet, think of a checkbook register or the page in a phone book. Those are both set up in columns and rows. The columns are titled by these capital letters. And the rows are titled by these numbers. And whenever we go out here, we are intersecting a given column with a given row. That box that indicates the intersection is called a cell. And every cell is titled, and it's named by the column title first, and then the row title. So here we are in column E and row 6, so this would be cell E6. Handily, up here, there's a thing called the name box, and it tells us that the name of the cell is E6. The name box comes in handier later on. I mean, this is not really what it's used for, but it, it is a convenient thing to have. If I want to move around all right, on this spreadsheet, I can click on the cells, but sometimes that's a little inconvenient if you like to stay on the keyboard. So I'm just going to use the right arrow to go to the right. I'm going to use the left arrow to go to the left. I'm going to use the down arrow to go down. And yes, you know how the story is going to end. The up arrow will take me up. Alternately, the tab key will take me to the right. Shift tab will take me back to the left. Enter takes me down. Shift enter takes me up. There's a variety of things that you can do to move around. Um, you'll find the ones that are the most convenient for you. What we're going to do now is move from one sheet to another. Down here, we have this sheet that's titled blank. If you wanted to, you could come over here on this icon and click on it, and you would get a new blank spreadsheet, a new sheet. I'm going to get rid of that just because I want to confuse myself. And here I have my blank sheet, and here I have the staff sheet, and here I have my scale sheet. If you want to, you can move these around. For example, if I took my blank sheet and I wanted that to be first, if I uh, moused over that and clicked on it, then I can drag it into a different position. So now I have my blank sheet first, I have my scale, and then the staff, but I want to go back to the scale. And this is a spreadsheet that I built so that I could do some calculations trying to figure out the scale model of the solar system in planetary diameter and distance from the Sun. So you'll notice that here I have cell A6 and it's indicated up here in the name box. And uh, you know you're moving around a spreadsheet you know down arrow, up arrow, left arrow, whatever. Let's just say that you're out in a spreadsheet pretty far from the end. You can't really see the first column. All you need to do is press the home key and that will bring you to the first cell in the row that you're in. So press the home key and you go to the first cell. That's pretty cool. Then you know you're moving around, you're moving around. If you needed to, you could go to the very first cell in the spreadsheet by doing control home. And I'll take you up here to cell A1, the first cell in the spreadsheet. If you need to go to the last cell, which is convenient if you want to get down toward the end of the spreadsheet, do control end. And you'll notice that I am now down in this cell, and someone's going to go, well, Mr. Happy, there's nothing there. How can that be the last cell? Well, column O is the last column, and row 15 is the last row. So this cell intersects the last column and the last row. These are things that you're going to find. There are different ways of moving around, and you're just going to be finding the way that you like the best. Now, I did mention how we could move around from one sheet to the next, like this. Another way of doing that would be using the Control Page Down key. will bring you one sheet to the right. The Control Page Up will bring you one sheet to the left down to the right, up to the left. Sometimes you need to move to a different workbook. Think of a workbook as whatever you have with the title file name on it. So you might have one file titled budget. That would be the workbook. would have all the worksheets inside it. 
If you want to move from one workbook to another, in the old days, you would press the Alt, then the Tab keys. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to press the Alt and then the Tab and then let go of the Tab, but I'm going to still keep the Alt key down. So Alt, Tab, and now I have this. I have a menu of all of my applications that I currently have open. So keeping the Alt key down, if I then use the Tab key and press it and let go, I'm going to move around through all the open applications that I currently have. There's my desktop. And uh, you might want to go to a Word document, for example. And here's a Word document that I was using in my calculations before. But if you just do Alt-Tab, then you can go to any of the op open applications that you have. And that really is a handy kind of thing to have. So there are a lot of ways of moving around. And you're going to get used to certain ways. And you're always going to be learning new ways. But uh, you'll find that after a while, you're going to have a certain set of favorite ways to move around within a workbook and between workbooks.